that latex? Yeah, it's latex and it comes in as a liquid. Okay. So you brush it on and then uh, with the air it dries, right? So once you have this, you leave it all like, you put it over the clay and then you have this. But how come it's like this hard? Because I mix sawdust in with it no. to beef it up. Oh, I was going to say, how come it's like past... Hmm? Never mind, I can't explain. It has this coloring. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. What? It has the coloring? No, no, no. How, okay, so you paint it over top, but how come there's this extra, all this extra material around the edges? Oh, um, because when you have this, right, and it was standing, I had like a, a oh, I saw the stand piece. for it, right? And so piece? this is just sort of like, it actually came out of here. So it was, it was a piece of wood here to hold everything. And then you make um, a plaster mold around it so that you have like an extra shell. And that's sort of why you need this extra bit here so that when you put, once, okay, so you do that, you do the plaster all over it. And this was a three part, right? So you have the one, two, and the three part mold, and this piece goes in here. So once that's all finished and dry, you have to cut it open. So there's like, here are the seams. And then you take out all of the clay, and you clean it out, and you cut it so that there are the two parts. And so it becomes empty like it is now. Mm -hmm. And the reason that there's this extra bit here and here is so that when you clamp it back down, that there's enough pressure for everything. I mean, every mold is different, right? So like, if you use like a silicone mold, then you don't really need all this extra bit, but because it's a two-part mold, I have to be able to take both sides off okay. because the the fins and things are quite thin so if it was if it was more like a ball or something that was a bit more contained then I could just do a one piece and it would be easier.